Anna Hadavi and James Quintana and we are doing a video on how to find the area of a regular polygon. We are installing this piece of tile in our kitchen and we need to find its area. We know this polygon has 10 sides so it's called a decagon and the formula we're going to use for a regular polygon is area equals one half capital P times lowercase a where capital P stands for the perimeter and lowercase a stands for the apothem. So the apothem is from the center of the polygon, making a perpendicular line with the edge. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try to find this. So as Anna had mentioned, this is the formula that we need. Now if I'm looking at this polygon, this regular polygon, we are missing the perimeter, which are all the sides, and the apothem. So we could use this simply by using one of our rulers that we're going to have here. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the formula so that we have it. The center of the polygon to the one of its opposite edges, creating a 90 degree, is the A. So we're going to have to find this. We're going to go ahead and grab the ruler and we're going to kind of measure this. So as we can see, it comes out to about 3.5 inches. So if the total length from opposite ends of this regular polygon is 3.5 inches, in order to get half, we have to divide by 2. Which comes out to 1.75 inches for the apple thin. Next we need to find the perimeter. So using our ruler once again, We're going to place it at one of its sides. This one looks pretty easy to do right here. So from 0 to 1, this the side looks like it's about 1 inch in length. What we learned in geometry class as well as middle school, perimeter is the sum of all the sides combined. So if I got 1 inch here times 10 sides, that's a total of 10 inches. So our perimeter is 10 inches total. So if we look at our formula once again, our area, A, is equal to one-half, our apple thin, which we found to be 1.75 inches, times the perimeter, which we got 10. So we're going to go ahead and use the technology that we have. So we have 10 times 1 half times the 1.75 for the apple thing. And we get 8.75 as our area. Now units, area, since it's area, our units is going to be inches square. So once again, total area inside the polygon is 8.75 inches square. 